Opalescence is a professional whitening treatment so powerful and effective, it is only dispensed by dental professionals. With Opalescence, you can give your patients the brighter, whiter smiles they want in a treatment that fits their unique needs. In this video, we'll show you how to fabricate custom whitening trays and how to begin a whitening treatment. The first step is to take an alginate impression of the patient's upper and lower arches. Fabricate the tray by pouring the alginate impression with fast set plaster or dental stone. To ensure accuracy, pour the impression shortly after taking it. When fabricating the tray, remember to have enough mass to remove the model from the impression without breaking it. Trim the base of the cast parallel to the occlusal table plate on a model trimmer to within a few millimeters of the gingival margin for ease of manipulation. Note that the palate and tongue areas are removed. To create reservoir space on the model, apply a layer of Ultradent LC Blockout Resin approximately half a millimeter thick onto the desired labial surfaces. Stay about one and a half millimeters from the gingival line. Do not extend onto the incisal edges or occlusal surfaces. Doing so prevents the margin of the tray from opening upon biting. It can also impinge on soft tissues. With reservoir space in the tray, patients can have a more comfortable whitening experience. Studies have shown that without custom reservoirs, the likelihood of losing bleaching agent is greater, which may account for low bleaching potential. Cure Ultradent LC Blockout Resin for approximately 10 seconds per tooth with a handheld intraoral light. Wipe off the oxygen inhibited layer. With a vacuum former, heat the tray material until it sags approximately one and a half inches. Activate the vacuum and adapt the softened plastic onto the model. Allow the tray material to cool and remove the model. Cut the excess bulk of material away with Ultradent Utility Vinyl Cutters. Use Ultra Trim Scalloping Scissors to carefully scallop the gingival embrasures to prevent covering the gingival papillae with the tray. The papillae may become sore and irritated if the tray covers them. Return the tray to the model and check all tray extensions. Gently flame polish the edges one quadrant at a time. While still warm, hold the periphery of each segment firmly against the model for three seconds with a water moistened finger. If an area is short of the desired length, gently heat it and push the tray material to the desired location. If this over thins the tray material, a new tray should be fabricated. Once you have prepared the trays for your patient, use the provided patient instructions to advise the patient on the bleaching procedure, tray cleaning, tray loading, application of opalescence, and tray care. Explain the recommended treatment regimen to the patient. Show them how to load the tray by expressing one continuous bead of gel approximately halfway up from the incisal edge on the facial side of the tray from molar to molar. This should use about one-half to one-third of a syringe. Instruct your patient to place the tray over the teeth and gently press the tray to move the gel into place. Ask them to gently wipe off excess gel with a toothbrush or a clean, moist finger. The patient should leave the tray in for the period of time recommended by their dentist. After the recommended time, have them remove the tray from their mouth and brush their teeth to remove all gel from the teeth. Show them how to clean the tray with a soft brush and cool tap water. Be certain to read the product instructions, warnings, and information contained in the package and advise the patient accordingly. It is recommended to monitor the patient's progress every three days to avoid translucency or discoloration around metallic fillings.